Today we are going to talk about word problems involving addition up to 20. What are they? Word problems are math stories that require you to find the answer to a question they give you. Some things you should know first before you solve. First, you must read the word problem. Then, you circle your important information. Your important information includes the numbers in the word problem, the keywords, and the question. Next, you write your number sentence based, based on the information you circle. After writing your number sentence, you draw your picture to match the story. And finally, you solve it. So what does that look like? Let's look at this example. First, we need to read. There are seven dogs at the park. Five more dogs come. How many dogs are at the park now? Our second step is to circle the important information. Here, the important information includes the seven dogs that we started with, the five more dogs that came, and then the question, how many dogs are at the park now? Now we write our number sentence. To write our number sentence, we need these three different things, seven, the five, and more dogs to come. The seven indicates how my number sentence is going to start. More dogs come means I'm going to add because we are making more. And we are making more by five because five is the change. So it would look like this. Seven plus five equals blank. Next, we need to draw our picture so we can solve. Our picture, we begin with seven counters because that was our start. And then we add five more counters because that was our change. After drawing the seven counters plus the five counters, now we can count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, making our final answer twelve. Let's solve some word problems. First, we need to read. We see four black cats and nine gray cats. How many cats do we see? Now we need to circle the important information. What do you think was important here? Four, nine, and, and the question, how many cats do we see? So what does your number sentence gonna look like? Did you say four plus nine? Good, four was your start, and indicates that you're gonna add, and then nine was your change. Now that you have your number sentence, draw your picture. We started with four black cats, and then nine gray cats. So what was your total of cats? Did you say 13? Very good. Let's go to the next one. First, we need to read. Eight jets fly by. Seven more jets fly by. How many jets fly by in all? What was your important information? Good, eight, seven, more. And how many jets fly by in all? What is your number sentence gonna look like now? Eight plus seven equals blank, good. Eight is the number you started with, seven is your change, and we are looking for the sum. Now we can draw our picture. We started with eight jets first, and then we added seven jets. What is the total number of jets? Let's count. If you started with eight, we can count on and say nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Is that what you got? Good job. 8 plus 7 equals 15. So we saw 15 jets in all. One more. Let's read. We see nine black ants and two red ants. How many ants did we see? What is the important information here? Okay, nine, two, and and then how many ants did we see? What is your number sentence gonna look like? I hope you said nine plus two equals blank. 
because 9 was our start, plus 2 was our change, and we are looking for the sum. Did you draw your 9 black ants first? And then we're going to draw 2 red ants. What is the total ants that we saw? Count the ants. Did you say 11? Good. 11 is the total number of ants that we saw. Good job. Now it's your turn. Take a look at the word problems I have given you for today. Use your strategies. Don't forget to read, circle, write, draw, and solve. Let's go. Ah!